all I wanted to look at. It's been many dawns. Gloria. Anthony, what are you doing here? And didn't you know it's wrong for you to barge into someone's house like this without knocking? You call this a house. You should be ashamed to call this a house. Nelson just sent a picture of what his new house looks like. And that makes Richard the owner of the house too. And you're here calling this place a house. What is really your headache? Those two people just got married. Why can't you allow them to enjoy their marriage? Just imagine what you are saying. If you had cooperated with me from the beginning, things wouldn't have been like this. But you choose to be a hypocrite. Allow me to be. I already told you that I will never hurt my friend. Allow these people to be in peace. Peace my foot. Did they allow me to be in peace? They kept suffocating me with their useless lovely dovey pictures online. Are they the first to get married? <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but this is so funny. Are you kidding me right now? So you are now angry, not just because of the house, but because they choose to let the whole world know about them. Nelson betrayed me, and he thinks telling me sorry will just sort the whole thing. It will never. You better join me, let's destroy them. I will never do that. Just count me out of whatever you want to do. Have a seat, let me get you something to drink so you can feel better. I don't blame you. Hi. Are you Jennifer, the one I've been waiting for? Yes, I am. You must be Donald. Yes, my name is Donald. You look more beautiful than I saw in the picture. I think I like what I see. Thank you. You are not looking bad either. But I am not impressed that you left me standing here for so long. You told me you would come. Immediately I arrive. I am sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure this is what I want. But now that I have seen you, I am certain you are what I want. I hope you are good as your friend because I don't want to waste my money on a novice. Please, I don't know if I am good. And please, I want to let you know that I won't be coming with you to the house today. But why? Because I have no reason at all. I don't just feel comfortable coming today. Please let it be next time. Alright then. You know I cannot force you to do what you don't want to. After all, I have someone like Messi and the rest of the girls. You have so many women. And so? Don't like men that have so many women? I just feel it is too much to keep so many of them. I am not keeping anyone. It is my money and it will go around for the both of you. So call me when you are ready. Alright. Man, this house is damn beautiful. The former owner must be very rich to build this. Yes, he's a very rich and generous man. I have never seen someone as good as he is. Eh, hey, so me as your friend is no longer good, Abby. Because you have moved out from our rented apartments. You now consider me a bad person. <laughs> you know I wasn't referring to you as a bad person. In fact, you're one of the nicest person ever. But think about this man's goodness. It is not easy to give out this kind of house. I think it depends on how your husband relates with him. You know when you are good with someone, that person is likely to return the favor. You're right. I love the way you refer to Nelson as my husband. It feels so good. Yes, now, he's your husband. So you both are not going for honeymoon. I was expecting you would be enjoying your honeymoon by now. This is just like my honeymoon. And Nelson already resumed work, so no need. I don't even want to travel. What about you? Aren't you going to work anymore? My dear, I don't want to. In fact, my husband already told me to stop working, so we can plan on what business to start. Please, on no account will you be a housewife. Make sure you find something to do to avoid being stepped on by your husband. Not all men are like that. Just do as I say. Either you continue your job or you start your business. Yes, ma. Would you like me to take you around the house so you can feed your eyes? Yes, let me check it out. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Adam, sir. Double congratulations to you, sir. Congratulations on your wedding and congratulations on your new position as the acting CEO. Thank you so much, Adamson. I heard so much noise at the reception area. What happened? It was the staffs. They want to hold the party here in this company for you, for your new position. Is that so? Yes, sir. I've already filled them by telling you about it. It was meant to be a surprise party. I'm really grateful for this. Don't worry, I will act surprised when the time comes. I never knew you guys were so thoughtful. It is because you have been good to us. So now that you have climbed higher, we need to be happy for you. Thank you. One more thing, sir. Now that you are the one in charge, can you please bring back Jennifer? You know she helped this company a lot when she was here. Mr. Solomon sacked her without telling us what she did. I'm sure he had a strong reason to back it up. So I will not go against him by employing that girl. Okay, sir. I have to go back to my office. Go ahead. This is my house. You are welcome. Please make yourself comfortable while I get you something to eat. No, don't bother. I am not hungry. I just want to finish what I came here for so I can go home. Why is your face like this? Don't you want to be here? You don't look happy that you are in my house. I am happy. It's just that I have never been here, so I have to be careful. Careful as in how? Sit down, Jerry. I don't need a novice in my house. I don't even like the way you are acting. I think I prefer Mercy to you. I am sorry, but Mercy is more experienced. I wouldn't have been here even for lack of money. 
you need to work hard before you have money that's why i'm giving you the opportunity to work in my bedroom so i can give you the money but you're acting like a virgin i am not a virgin sir since you don't want to take anything let's go inside so you can rest please when will i go back home tomorrow morning okay sir the body herself is already back please sit down and dismiss me out with me i have been waiting for you all night i didn't know you would tell me to spend the night he told me when i was already there so i had no choice you look like you didn't have enough sleep yesterday. Don't worry, now that you're home, you can sleep as much as you want. Who cares about sleep? Do you know how much I made in the night? My dear, I am in for this business. We are going to do it together. <laughs> you better you will like it. That guy pays really well. I have another customer that pays well too, in case you are interested. No, I think I prefer to be with Donald alone. I don't want to roam about with different men, so I don't end up contacting a disease. You are right, but both of us cannot share Donald. I allowed you to be with him yesterday because you needed urgent money. Now that you have it, I will give you somebody else. Don't be stingy, Joe. You've already gained more than enough from that guy. He even gave you a car. So allow me to also benefit from there. Yes, ma. I will only let you on one condition. What is it? You will always give me a bribe from the money he gives to you whenever I visit him. Alright, that is not a problem. Please, I am really tired. I want to go inside and rest. <laughs> you don't mean it. Well, if I wear your shoes, I would have sold this house a long time ago. Why should I do that? This house is a gift from someone that cares about me, so I cannot possibly sell it. You just complained about needing more money and wishing to be like your boss, so selling this house is the only thing that will give you more money. I disagree with you. Anyways, sorry I have not offered you anything. I don't have anything in this house. Babe, how can you not offer Anthony something? You know Anthony is one of our closest friends. Okay then, let me quickly go and get something down from the road for him. Anthony, you are welcome to our house for the first time. Don't worry, he'll get you something to drink. No problem, this house is really beautiful. You both are very lucky to have someone like his boss. I prefer to find the kind hearted person very soon. You'll find him. The man is very good and he trusts Nelson a lot. Else, he wouldn't entrust him with his gold box that is worth millions of dollars. A gold box? That sounds familiar to me. Can I take a look at how it is? Sure, it's in the master's bedroom. Let me show you. Did you just say the gold boss is worth millions of dollars? Yes, it is. That was why he gave strict instructions that we shouldn't touch it. He even said it is the only asset he has that he treasures very well. Then he didn't make enough findings. That gold box is worth a billion dollars. That is a very big amount of money if you exchange into Naira. You don't mean it. I'm very serious. I have a friend that does something like this. Give it to me, let me take it to him so you can confirm how much the gold box is worth. Then I'll bring it back to you and we can plan on what to do with it. Okay, let me bring it. My love, sorry for taking so long. There were so many people at the counter waiting to pay. It's okay. I am not angry with you. I know how it used to be in that place. Can I serve your food now? Uh-uh. Where is Anthony? He is the reason why I went out. To get this stuff for him. Don't tell me you already left. Yes, he had to rush off for something. Don't worry, he'll be back before you know it. I have to call him. He should have waited for me to get here before leaving. It is not fair at all. You don't have to be angry about it. I just told you he will return very soon. He went to check something. It's okay. Um, babe, how much did Solomon say the gold box is worth? I think he said it is worth millions of dollars. I don't really care, Sha. As long as his gold box is safe and I have nothing to worry about. Why do you ask? I was just curious to know why such a small thing would be so important. What if it is worth one billion dollars? Would you like to sell it? Sell it for what? Go forbid. I can never sell it for anything. He strictly told me not to touch it and that is what I will do. I will only help him clean it anytime it is dusty. But you know if we sell it, we will be extremely rich and we can start our own company in a place far from here. What is that supposed to mean? How could you let such greedy thoughts come into your mind? You better take it from your head. You haven't told me where you got such treasure from. That good box is a rare treasure. Where did you get it from? Don't worry about where I got it from for now. You once told me about a good box being the reason why your family is so rich. So I guess it might be this type. This is hard to come by. This good box is not just one billion dollar like you suggested. It is worth three billion dollars. If you get to sell that good box, you will never be poor in your entire life. You don't mean it. If you think I don't, sell it for the amount you suggested and I will, re and I will sell it two times the amount I bought it. So where will I see a buyer? I want to sell it as soon as possible. Is it yours or you want to sell it for someone? It's mine. This is the opportunity for me to be rich. I don't know who to sell it to for that amount of money. Buyers are not the problem. I have rich friends like me. Just give me the good box and I'll sell it to you. No, I won't. Let me see the buyer. I cannot take risks. No, I won't. Let me see the buyer. I cannot take any risks at the moment. This is the only treasure I have. 
<laughs> what do you think I would do with such amount of money? I have more than enough in my account. So I should trust you. I won't run away with the money. Besides, I have a business here. So why would I run away because of that amount of money? Okay, I kept it at home. Let me go back and get it for you. I don't know why, but Donald has been avoiding me for a while now. I don't know what I've done to him. Why should you be worried because of him? You have so many other customers that pay as well. In fact, it should be the least of your worries. He pays more than the rest and I like him more. Wouldn't you be worried if you realize that someone that showed so much care to you avoids you all of a sudden? I understand. Maybe it is because he has gotten used to me and he doesn't want you anymore. I see if you are better. Even if there is a reason why he's avoiding me, it will never be because of you. <laughs> you know, you are only trying to console yourself. You have lost Donald to me. I have gotten used to him already. Man, that guy is good. Whatever, I will check him tomorrow. If he continues avoiding me, then I will give up and continue with other of my customers. At least, I will be the only one to enjoy his money. There will be no one to go on a competition with. You don't know what you are saying. Does he look like someone that is satisfied with one woman? He has several women. But why would such a handsome and rich guy like him do such a thing? Now, I respect Solomon the mom. Even with all the money he had, he never cheated on his wife. Do you know if he did it secretly? My dear, don't ever trust a man in this life because a man must cheat no matter how much he loves his wife. You're right, Sha. So I'll check on him tomorrow. Wait here, let me go in and check in if he's inside. So obviously he's inside. I want to come with you to see him. You can't do that. Wait here for me. Let me go to the bedroom. Maybe he's still sleeping. Okay. He's not inside. In fact, some of his clothes are missing. I have a bad feeling about this. That is not possible. How come the door is open? I am sure he went to buy something. He'll be back in a while. Rachel, you have to pray very hard that I'll be able to retrieve that gold box before Chief returns because I know Anthony and how he reacts when it comes to money. Oh, Jesus Christ. What kind of problem is this? God, please let him return that gold box. Please prove Nelson wrong that something bad will happen. I didn't say anything will happen. I am just worried because some of his clothes are missing. The wardrobe is almost empty. You don't have to be worried, Donny. Anthony is not as bad as you think he is. He will return it. Please trust me. But how could you do such a thing? You couldn't even wait for me to return before giving him the box. I gave him the box because he said he wanted to confirm how much it is worth from his friend. It's okay. Let's just hope he returns it. Else, I don't know how we'll handle this case. Let's go. Hey, baby. Mercy, what are you doing here? I don't understand. Am I no longer welcome to your house? You were always happy when I come here. You have no right to come to my house without informing me. What business do I have with you? I know we don't have any business together, but I've noticed you have been avoiding me, so I came to ask why. Do I really have to start explaining myself to you? Don't forget, you are nothing but the whore I use in satisfying my sexual urge. I am not doubting what you are saying, but I feel like... Oh, sorry. I am not doubting what you are saying, but I feel a little bit sad that you could say that to my face. You just confirmed that I said the truth. I wasn't meant to sleep with you forever. I am tired of you, and I don't need you anymore. I feel hurt with your words. I am still wondering what I have done wrong to deserve this. Why did you get me a car if you didn't really like me? Because I wanted to compensate you for all the time I have been with you. Please go away, Mercy. Is this because of my friend? Is she more better than me? Tell me my mistakes and I'll try my best to be better. It is not because of anybody. I don't need your friend either. I am tired of the both of you. This is not fair. Please leave because I have a lot of things to do. I don't want to come back and see you here. Babe, what's up? Why are you back so soon? I wasn't expecting you to return until tomorrow morning. Donald chased me out of his house. Uh-uh, but why? What did you do to him? How could he chase you out of his house? I don't know, like I am really confused right now. See now, I am wondering what I have done wrong to him to offend him to this point. Hmm, I am really sorry about that. I don't even know how to console you. But you don't have to worry much. After all, you have other customers. I am just pain because of all the horrible things he said to me, but I don't care. After all, I have collected more than enough from me. That's my girl. Focus on the others while I focus on him. Then we will get to leave the city and start life from afresh and then get married. He doesn't know it is lost. I will not call him anymore. I will move on. Don't mind him. In fact, I will ask him for a car. I have been with him for a while, so it is time to get my own car. I will be in my room. Gloria, I don't know what to do anymore. I have been trying his line every day, but it is always switched off. I am really shocked at what you just told me. Rachel, I have known you to be a smart person, but I am shocked at what you did. What do you advise I do? I am also disappointed in myself. My husband thinks about this thing day and night. I don't have any advice for you. Just look at what you've gotten that guy into. 
how could you give out what was not given to you it was my mistake and i am deeply regretting it i wish i can turn back the hands of time i swear i will never try such again i feel it's too late to start making promises all we have to do is to pray anthony should be a good person and return that good box but why shouldn't he what will he stand to gain if he betrays his friend this way i don't see this as betrayer you clearly gave him the box what do you think will happen if he takes the box to someone who will give him billions of naira because of that box do you think he will be kind enough to return it oh god if i come out of this mess i will never try this again what do you advise i do should i involve the police and where will you take the police to how will they arrest him you said that to yourself that you've not seen him ever since that day i wish the floor can open and swallow me my husband looks miserable at home i want all this to end you messed up big time continue crying he returns the box god what kind of temptation is this why does this have to happen now it's not even a month since I got married, yet since I already going south, what kind of devil push Rachel to give out that good box? I've always been telling her that I don't trust anyone when it comes to money, especially someone like Anthony. Yet, she still gave him that box. What will happen if he sells that box for that amount of money? He will never return the money nor the box. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if Solomon comes back in a few years to find that box. It will look like I'm ungrateful and I might not escape what he will do to me. Rachel, you have ruined me. I can never regret marrying you, but I regret leaving the both of you to get a drink. I wish I had stayed back that day. All oh, this wouldn't be happening. I will be enjoying my marriage. Oh God, please take me out of this mess. I promise to save you forever. Bro, what's up? Thank God you are home. Sorry, I would have called you before coming, but I don't have a phone anymore. You don't have a phone anymore? But why? Where is your phone? I've been trying your number and it's always you stuff. I destroyed my phone and my SIM card. I know so many people will be calling me because of that good box. So I decided to destroy my phone. That was why I asked you that day. If you are sure you are the owner of that good box. You kept lying to me. How do you know I was lying to you? Anthony, it is not easy to lay a hand on that box. It is a rare treasure. It will be difficult for a person of your class to find it. So I got the gold box from a friend that betrayed me months ago. It was given to him by his boss for safekeeping. At first, I just wanted to hurt him by running away with the box. But now I've realized that I need money more than anything. Well, I've been trying to reach you these days to inform you that I successfully sold the gold box. The check is in my room. Oh, thank God. I was so worried you might not be able to sell it. Now I have to find a way to leave this country. With the amount of money you have now, you have to leave the country. But I can't leave immediately. I still have to process my papers. I have been staying in a hotel these past days and it's really draining me. Don't worry. You can come stay in my house for a few days before your papers are ready so you can leave the country. Thanks, bro. Honey, food is ready. Go ahead. I'm not hungry. Honey, how can you say you are not hungry? You have not eaten anything since morning. Yet you are saying you are not hungry. Richard, how will I be hungry with our current situation? If you have a appetite to eat, please go ahead because I don't. I know you are not happy because of what I did. All I am saying is you should take it easy on yourself. Staying hungry will not solve the problem. That is because you are not the one who was giving the box to keep. I showed you where it was because I trusted you. I did what I did for our sake. I thought we could sell the box and run away with the money and start a new life together. How selfish can you be? After everything Solomon has done for us, you still thought of running away with his treasure. Baby, please, I am sorry. Now I have realized my mistakes. I shouldn't have been greedy to that extent. It is too late to realize your mistakes. You should be thinking of how to get that box from Anthony instead of realizing your mistakes. How do you want me to do it? I go to his house every day, but it is still the same thing. I have never seen him. I have nothing to say to you until I find that good box. I will never be happy with you. Honey, please don't say that. Please eat something. I don't like the way you are starving yourself. Suit yourself. Do not. Do not. Hmm, maybe he's not in the house, but his door is open. Let me check his bedroom. How could my door be widely open? I am sure I closed it before leaving. That means someone came into my house. Oh, you are back. Sorry, I went inside to check if you were there. I came in, but there was no one inside. How dare you walk into my bedroom without my permission? You came in and there was no one. Why didn't you go back? Come on, Donald. It hasn't gotten to this. Why are you so harsh with me? But I don't like what you just did. It is rude to walk into someone's bedroom without the person's permission. Come on, Donald. It hasn't gotten to this. Why are you so harsh with me? I am sorry about that. Don't be angry. I just wanted to check if you were in. But why are you annoyed? Is there something you are hiding in your bedroom? 
Shut up. Next time, don't ever go into my bedroom. If I am not at home, then you leave. It's okay. I came to see you. I haven't heard from you in a while. I came to check if you are okay. You should say I have called you to come over in a while. Anyway, I am done with prostitutes like you. Okay, please. I want to take my leave now. Sorry for barging into your room like that. Hold on. What did you say in my bedroom? Say the truth and I will let you go. I swear I didn't say anything. I only peeped in your room and I came out again. I don't want to see you in this house again. Okay.